Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. My name is Claudia, for those who are new here. And if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed, please subscribe, it's free. Take me to 10,000 subscribers. And on today's video, I'm going to give you an urgent message for anyone planning a trip to Jamaica or already there. Please take a moment to listen carefully because your safety is my top concern. And before I start this video, just watch this small clip. So Jamaica is a tr is a threat to Americans that go to Jamaica. Please, I am begging you, uh, as a fellow Jamaican, Wangar Yard, and everybody who are tourists are good day and make the ticket them expensive. Listen to the American news. Don't go. Because this time around this year, me one got Jamaica with a cheap ticket, with a cheap flight. So don't go. It is very, very dangerous in Jamaica. Don't go for this one year. Let me be free and pay fifty dollar to hundred dollar for God Jamaica. Mama got me yard. Mama one got me yard in peace. Don't go. It is very dangerous. The food dangerous. The water dangerous. Shark there, the shark there the front. Dangerous, don't go okay. The music, dangerous. If you listen to it, they go deaf. The fine, fine Jamaica man, them want to go on the far, them not find no more. D don't go, please. Mo one gummy yard for the cheap ticket. Me no one pay a thousand plus for a ticket because everybody want got Jamaica, okay. So listen to them, Jamaica. I beg, ah. Jamaica is very dangerous right now. Don't go. Okay? Listen. For once. For once, don't go. And as you all know that Jamaica is a beautiful country, known for its vibrant culture, breathtaking landscape, and warm hospitality. However, there have been recent developments that we can't ignore. In light of growing security, uh, security concerns, I feel compelled to share some important information to ensure that your stay is safe and enjoyable. Now, over the past few weeks, eh, there have been reports of increased criminal activity in some areas, including like uh, including uh, theft, armed robbery, and other violent incidents. Certain parts of islands are seeing a rise in these incidents, and tourists have been targeted. I am not saying this to cause panic, but it's vital to remain vigilant and aware of your surroundings. And while Jamaica is still a wonderful destination, the current climate means that extra caution is necessary. Be mindful of, of uh, where you go, especially at night. Stick to well-known populated areas, avoid isolated places, and consider traveling in groups. Also, ensure that you keep your valuable, secure, and avoid displaying an expensive item or jewelry. So, here are some uh, key tips that have been given. And uh, some of them are like, uh, stay informed. That is, keep an eye on local news and travel advisories. To use an uh, registered transportation only. Use licensed taxis or trust, uh, trusted services. Also, another thing is to avoid risk areas. As you know that parts of Jamaicans are more uh, prone to crime. Ask locals or hotel staffs for advice or save cons. Be discreet. Don't flat money, gadgets or valuables that could attract attention. Also, another thing is stay connected. Keep in touch with someone back at home and inform them if... Uh, of your whereabouts regularly. I don't want anyone to feel scared to visit Jamaica, but I do want you to be prepared. By taking these precautions, you can still enjoy the beauty and the culture uh, that this in, uh, incredible island has to offer. Let's be safe, smart, and responsible travelers. Share this message with your loved ones to ensure they are aware too. And also remember that your safety comes first. If you ever feel unsafe or in danger, do not hesitate to contact the local authorities or your country's embassy for assistance. Additionally, here are some specific areas of concern. 
if you are staying in Jamaica, especially in urban centers like uh, Kingston, Negril, or Montego Bay, be particularly cautious. These areas, while beautiful and lively, have experienced some spikes in criminal activities recently. It, and it's always best to consult with your hotel or local host about the safety routes and places to visit. And if you're planning a day trip, make sure you are booking your you are booking through a certified tour operators. Don't rely on informal arrangements because they may not offer the security measures you need during your visit. Always let someone know where you are going and what time you you expect to return. And also, in the event that you do feel unsafe, or if anything unexpected happens, always have the local emergency contact numbers ready on your phone. And you should know where your country's embassy is located. They can provide assistance if you need help with any legal issues, security concerns, or even uh, just guidance. And also, if you already travel to Jamaica and you feel concerned, don't hesitate to reach out to local authorities or your hotel management for immediate help. Your safety is of the utmost importance. And once again, Jamaica is a land of beauty, culture, and history. But like any destination, safety is key. Let's make sure we are well informed and well prepared so that our experiences, they are as enjoyable as they can be. So guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to stay updated with important travel tips and advisories. And most importantly, spread this message so others can stay safe too. Until next time, Stay safe, stay smart, and enjoy your travels responsibly. Safe journeys, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.